Nami leads the crew, a One Piece theory. Luffy had always been reckless, but it had been far more noticeable since they entered the Whole Cake Island arc. And Nami had been seen getting very aggravated with Luffy. Now while in the past he has been aggravated with his recklessness, this is different. There are no reinforcements this time. They are with Aldoro and Sanji, and they are in a territory where Luffy has to go all out to defeat even the low-level commanders of the main enemy, Big Mom. And Luffy doesn't seem to realize that his entire crew is separated, and it's pretty much just him and Nami right now. Nami can't defend herself, and Luffy's pretty much losing. If it had not been for Nami's interference, Luffy would have lost his fight with Cracker, who is only one of Big Mom's division commanders, or her fleet commander. And without Zoro there to sit Luffy down and explain to him that he needs to take things more seriously, I think Nami will. And I don't think it's going to go very well. After Luffy recovered from his fight with Cracker, I believe Nami is going to sit him down and explain to him that this is not a game. He needs to stop being so silly and carefree. He needs to take this more seriously. This is, is a fun adventure. But it's not a game, and he can't risk everybody's lives just so he can have fun. Very much like Zoro, Nami will tell Luffy that if he doesn't shape up, she is going to leave the crew. And I think a lot like with the situation with Usopp, Luffy is going to allow his recklessness and his impulsivity to get the better of him. And very much like he did with Usopp, he will tell her if she does not like the way he does things, to just leave. While Luffy is not a very prideful character, he does, however, hold his stance of captain when he wants something. When he decided they were going to get a new ship, he stood by his decision. When he decides the way they're going to do something, he is going to stand by that. If Nami is going to directly challenge that, he's going to oppose his authority on her, enforce his authority on her. In this situation, I don't see her just taking that, and I see her walking away and leaving the crew temporarily. Now, I believe actually seeing Nami leave, because of how impulsive and careless Luffy is, wouldn't necessarily make him take things more seriously, but I think he would maybe realize that it isn't a game, and he would start focusing more on, on listening to his crewmates. Not so much thinking things through himself, but listening to people like Zoro and Robin more than he does at the moment. Since the time skip, there have been one or two defining features about every arc. The Dark Rosa arc had Doflamingo as a villain, and Rebecca. Both were very similar to Crocodile and Vivi. And do I even need to explain Fifth Man Island? So I feel like one of the big similarity between this arc and Water 7 would be to end its arc a crew member would leave, and that would be Nami, and it would also make for a very emotional moment with the, with the crew, which we haven't gotten a lot of since the time skip. But guys, tell me your thoughts on my theory in the comment section down below. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos, and above all else guys, have a great day, and the One Piece Nation, signing out.